lots to talk about today. I just finished applying uh, DEET. I'm in Brazil right now checking out uh, the stadiums for Copa America, and they're pretty impressive. Uh, but there are mosquitoes everywhere. Did you guys see Mexico? This is late news, okay? And I apologize. I, I keep the schedule. I try, to, I try to do these videos on Thursday. But did you see Mexico-USA game? If you didn't, watch it. Quite possibly. No, it was. It's the best game I've seen, especially the USA play. The absolute best game I've seen them play since 2002 when we beat, guess who? Uh, Mexico. I, I think in the uh, second round of the, the World Cup. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, in the knockout rounds. Anyway, who cares? Brian McBride, 2 0, Dosa Cero. But this game, unbelievable. Uh, Greg, our, our coach, Burhalter, not very good. Not very good at all. Individual talent on the USA team is great. Fully loaded, tons of potential. But dude, can we please just hire a coach that knows how to manage and coach an international squad? Because it ain't Burhalter, okay? Can CONCAF please get referees that are, like, okay and not just terrible? Uh, can we please get rid of VAR, all right? That being said, if we do all that, this game isn't as good as it was. Unbelievable game, huge win. Um, arguably, just throwing it out there, Wes McKinney is better player than Christian Pulisic. Arguably, okay, watch. Dude's legit. Absolutely unbelievable, the athleticism of Weston McKinney. Okay, I'm done talking about USA. I know it's old news, and I primarily want to talk about Austin FC. But before I do that, I want you guys to realize how much soccer there is out there this summer. COVID it seems to be taking a back seat, seems to be not really going away, but becoming a norm. We all were vaccinated. At least you have the ability to be vaccinated, which is giving you the ability to go out and do things. Soccer can be one of them. Copa America starts in a few days. Uh, the Euros start tomorrow. The Olympics, the gals are, are playing uh, third week, July 21st. Um, dudes aren't. Want to know why? Uh, because USSF, not good. Um, no idea what they're doing. Hey, guys, I got an idea. Let's start our B team, okay? And let's see if they progress and get through um, Olympic qualifiers. Why would you do that? Why, with all the young talent you have, and it's easy, you know, high in size 2020, but why would you do that? Play your kids, man. You haven't been to the Olympics since like 1920. You got to go to the Olympics, get experience, get better. Then you do good at the World Cup. Whatever. Uh, okay, I'm going to get off of that. Here's, here's the thing. This Saturday is the preview game. Uh, Austin FC is playing Kansas City. I, and I talked about this in a couple of, of videos prior. Hey, Austin FC, I got an idea. Why don't you put folks in the stadium as a test run, uh, maybe put the game on a big screen and uh, allow the fans access to concessions, whatever. Dude, they're actually doing it. Now, I seriously doubt um, someone watched this video and <laughs> acted accordingly. Um, th that probably didn't happen. Would be cool if it did. And oh, by the way, if it did, hey, please let me know. Right? Uh, it was it was kind of my idea. Uh, anyway, fine. That's happening. And I, if I had to guess, I bet you we see anywhere of ten to fifteen thousand people in the stadium to not watch live game with players on the field. No, we're going to watch it on a, a big screen. Hopefully, it's that big. I'm. It probably looks bigger on the TV in my living room than it will in the stadium, but whatever. The atmosphere is going to be cool. The band's going to be going nuts. Everyone's going to be able to kind of try this out. And by the way, if I read another post on how to get to the game and where to park, I'm going to puke. Guys, you've had over a year to figure this out. There's no parking here. It doesn't exist. Stop asking. Figure it out. you got to have an alternative way to get here. Uber, Lyft, the train, the bus. Get on your bike, figure it out. But there is no parking. It's not going to happen. And you know what? I, I read something that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, 
or maybe it's a, a, a coincidental excuse if there's such a thing, but to have 30,000 people all leave and try to make left turns on breaker is going to be absolutely disgusting. So spread this out, spread the parking out around a mile, kind of, kind of around the stadium. It's really going to help with traffic as this place is going to be just crazy enough as it is. So maybe that's a good thing. Uh, I live by the stadium, so I'm walking. I don't really care. But anyway, that's it. I, I, tons to talk about, man. If you want to figure out how, when, what, where to watch games, chime in, because this stuff's going to be coming a mile a minute starting tomorrow with uh, the Euro starting. Uh, dollar bet, Kansas City won. Austin FC won. We get a result Saturday. I really believe that. And I think there's an outside shot that we win. That's my time today. I really appreciate you tuning in. Please leave comments. Let me know how you're doing. And that's it. Thanks.